it's easy to set up your spin bike with the correct saddle and handlebar settings that will give you a safe, comfortable ride. This is what it looks like when you're set up correctly on your bike. With one foot held at the bottom of the pedal stroke, there's a slight bend in the knee. This tells you that your seat is at the right height. When you hold your pedals level in a horizontal line, your front knee is directly over the ball of the foot. This tells you that your seat fore aft is in the right position. Your handlebar settings are positioned for comfort, allowing natural arm extension with a slight bend in the elbows and relaxed shoulders. Now let's go through the following steps for finding the settings that are right for you. First, move the seat slider to the middle of the range, then adjust the height. As a rough guideline, the top of the saddle should be level with the top of your thigh as you stand alongside the bike with your leg horizontal. As you can see here, the seat is too low, so we're going to raise it up, making sure that the pop pin locks in place. We'll check the height again with the leg lifted. Now the saddle is aligned with the top of the thigh. The next step is handlebar height, which should be the same level as the saddle or higher. If you're new to riding, pregnant, or have any back concerns, raising the handlebars higher than the saddle will probably feel more comfortable. Visually compare the handlebars to the saddle. You can fine-tune it for comfort later. Now you're ready to get on the bike for further adjustments, so be sure to tighten the pop pins. Sit on the bike with your hands on the handlebars. Place one heel on the center of the pedal and lower that pedal to the bottom position. For a heel check, we're looking for an extended knee. You can see here that the knee is slightly bent, so the saddle is too low. To raise the saddle, Get off the bike and adjust it to a higher position. Take note of the current position before you move it so that you can raise it by one or more notches. Again, be sure to lock in and tighten the pop pins before mounting the bike. Do the heel check again with the pedal all the way to the bottom position. Now you can see that the knee is fully extended. In addition to the heel check, you want to check the degree of knee flexion. Clip in or place your shoe in the cage with the ball of your foot over the center of the pedal. With the pedal at the lowest position, your knee should be slightly bent. Finally, check the seat fore aft by holding the pedals in a horizontal line. The front of the kneecap should be directly above the center of the pedal. You can see that the knee is too far behind the center of the pedal, which means the seat is too far back. Dismount the bike, adjust the seat, and tighten the knob before getting back on. Mount the bike again and recheck the position. Be sure you're sitting on the widest part of the saddle with your hips level and your hands on the handlebars. Now we can see that the front of the knee is aligned directly above the center of the pedal. If your bike has a handlebar fore-aft adjustment, you can position it for comfort. The final step is to pedal at an easy pace to be sure everything feels comfortable. Your shoulders and elbows should be relaxed.